Hi guys, today we'll discuss the clean engine and how to utilize the analyze feature to automate the task of weeding out those dirty tracks in your library. Okay, so let's get started. Within the clean tab, you'll notice that you have clean, undo, which we'll cover a bit later in the video, and analyze. To begin the analyze function, simply click on the analyze tab. Now that we're in the analyze area, you'll notice a dimly lit brain. This brain serves as a pie chart indicating the problem areas within your library. Below the brain, there's a breakdown of the parameters that TuneUp uses to determine if a track is dirty. A missing parameter in any of these areas will trigger a dirty response. Let's go ahead and analyze this collection by pressing the Analyze button. TuneUp will quickly scan your library and present you with the results of the scan. So, as you can see, my library is 53% clean. Let's me know I got some work cut out for me in this collection. I can't stress enough that the idea behind TuneUp is not to drag your entire collection into clean, but rather to utilize the Analyze feature to point out those problem areas that exist within your library. Utilizing the Analyze feature will allow you to take a much more sophisticated and automated approach toward cleaning your collection. Now that we have analyzed this collection, TuneUp has also automatically created what is called a dirty playlist. TuneUp will automatically create playlists based on the action that's performed. When you clean songs, TuneUp will also create another playlist that keeps track of the songs that you have processed with TuneUp. These playlists provide a convenient and easy way to keep track of your TuneUp processes. Let's take a look at this dirty playlist. Here we have all of the songs that TuneUp has identified as needing some type of help. As you add songs to your collection, you'll want to rerun the Analyze feature so that way you get an updated playlist. Additionally, you may also want to keep track of the progress as you progress along, in which case rerunning the Analyze feature will allow you to see this number grow. Again, songs placed into a dirty playlist are dirty based upon the parameters that are within the Analyze tab. Arranging your iTunes view so that it mimics the parameters of the Analyze feature will allow you to quickly view what's triggering the dirty response. In this case, I'll want to add these parameters, which are track artist, track name, artist name, genre, year, and track number. As you can see, track number is there, but you'll want to go through and make sure that all of these parameters are present. One very important parameter is the track artist field. We recommend sorting your collection by artist so that way you can create a more sequential lookup of those tunes when you send them into clean. Now that I have my list, I'll just go through and select a handful of artists. You can select multiple artists at this time, and we recommend keeping your selection under 1,000 tracks. The purpose of doing this is to balance accuracy with speed and of course performance. So we recommend under 1,000 tracks, your results may vary. If you have a super fast machine, you could possibly do more. Or if your machine is a bit slower, then try doing less at a time. I will select up until maybe the E's if I have any. Don't have any ease, so I'll just stop at the G. And that's about 91 tracks, perfect for this test here. Select those songs, drag them into TuneUp. What TuneUp will begin to do is scan those songs. It'll locate information, and it'll give you up to three different categories. We see two already, which are matches and likely matches. If you happen to have songs, yep, yeah, there it is. If you happen to have songs that TuneUp cannot locate for whatever reason, there will be a third category called not found. Non-found tracks are typically those songs that, simply put, TuneUp can't locate. And this could be for a number of reasons. Typically, it's due to the fact that these songs are independently released. And if we take a look at these, that's pretty much what's going on here. We'll actually go over this in more detail in another video. But for now, those are songs that TuneUp simply can't locate. Likely matches simply means that TuneUp is less than 90% sure and will require you as a user to verify its accuracy. Songs placed into the matches category are songs that we have a great deal of confidence around. And these songs can typically be saved without little verification. However, I do recommend that you get a great sense of how TuneUp tags information when you're first beginning. You can check the tag information that we have for each song of an album by expanding that selection. Once you expand, you see all of the songs that we have in the collection, and those are highlighted in bold. The songs that are grayed out, if you will, are songs that are not in our library, or at least were not sent to TuneUp at the same time. This is why it becomes supremely important to group by artists as best you can to limit to this if you have these songs. Let's go ahead and save the matches category because I feel very confident of TuneUp's recommendations. By selecting Save All, 
It only applies to the matches category and does not affect likely matches. This is a safety precaution, of course, because these songs, again, require some level of verification from you as a user. Now that I've processed songs with TuneUp, I now have two additional playlists. One is not found and the other is cleaned. We'll select the clean playlist and here's all the songs that TuneUp clean. If you like to revisit or undo any changes that you made with TuneUp, you simply need to navigate to the clean tab, choose undo, and drag a song or a selection of songs into TuneUp again. We'll select a few songs and we'll just drag those into clean. You have the option to choose just one song or all of these songs by using the undo all option. We'll choose the undo all for this purpose. And that's it. You'll notice that these songs revert back to their previous state, which in this case did not have an artist and it didn't have, of course, the track numbers for some of them as well.